Hi there, my name is Dimitri Borisov. I'm one of the junior doctors. Can I just confirm your name, date of birth, please? It's Michael Ratcliffe, and the birthday is 15th of May, 1995. Lovely, thank you very much. I've been asked to carry out uh, an examination of your right shoulder, which is going to involve me having a look, feel, and move of your right shoulder, if that's okay. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Are you in any pain at all at the moment? No. Are you experiencing any COVID symptoms at all? No. Lovely. I'm just going to ask you to keep your PPE in for the duration of this procedure. That's going to be quite a close contact examination, okay? Yep. So, first of all, can I ask you to stand up and remove your top if that's okay? Thank you. And can I need to take a step closer? Lovely. So, I'm going to examine from the front. I'm going to look for posture of the head and neck, posture of the shoulders. I'm going to look for symmetry of the muscles. I'm going to look for the shape of the shoulder girdle. I'm going to look for any erythema, any swelling, or any scars. From the side, I'm mainly looking for any scars which would be apparent after any shoulder arthroscopy procedures. And from the back, I'm looking for any trapezius wasting, any wasting of the muscle above and below the scapula. And let's pretend we have a wall here. Can I get you to push with your right hand for me? Thank you, and I'm checking for any winging of the scapula. You can relax your hand for me. Grand, okie dokie. So no winging of the scapula, no asymmetry, and no obvious bony deformity. I'm gonna move on to having a feel. And is it okay if I have a touch of your right shoulder? Of course. So uh, usually I would examine the healthy shoulder first and the shoulder that's of the question after, but for the purpose of this examination, I'm just going to examine the right shoulder. Um, so, I'm going to start with feeling the just below the joint, on the joint and above, and I'm feeling for any heat and feeling for any swelling on the joint as well. And I'll do that by palpating around the joint area. Any pain that I'm feeling here? No. If at any point during the palpation you're feeling discomfort, please let me know and we can stop, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm then going to move on to palpating the musculature, so the bicep bulk, the tricep bulk, the pec major, the deltoid, and then from the back I'm going to feel the muscles above the spinous scapula, muscles below the trapezium, and the lateral, the lats even. Okay. And then I'm going to move back to feeling the bony prominences. So this is the sternoclavicular joint. I'm going to feel along the clavicle. Any pain tenderness there? Feeling for the coracoid process. Feeling for the acromion. Head of the humerus. Great that you brought of the humerus, which is just lateral to that. And then we move on to the spine of the scapula. The medial border of the scapula lateral border of the scapula and any discomfort throughout that? No. Amazing, thank you. So now could I get you to do a couple of movements for me? Yeah. So we're going to start with active movements first where I'll demonstrate and I'll get you to carry out the movements to your best. Okay? Mm -hmm. So first of all, can I get you to lift your right arm as far up as you can? Amazing, thank you. So that's your shoulder flexion and bring it as far back behind you as you can. That's your shoulder extension. Great, thank you very much. Now, can I get you to lift your arm from the side all the way up as much as you can above your head? Great, and all the way back down. Any pain or discomfort there? No. Good. Now, can I get you to tuck your arm at your side and flex in your elbow? Great, thank you. And bring your arm out as much as you can. And tuck it back in. So that's external flexion external rotation which is normal and can I get you to bring your arm behind your back and reach up as far as you can with your thumb and your spine and just reaching up as far as you can so if we're aiming to, for your thumb to reach between the level of T4 and T8 you're managing to get above that which means that you have good mobility and internal rotation so great thank you very much now I'm going to do those movements for you if that's okay I'm going to place my hand on your shoulder and repeat all those movements so shoulder flexion Extension, I'm feeling for crepitus as I'm doing, and a deduction, adduction, external rotation, internal rotation. Grand, no crepitus there, and full range of movements. One thing we could do as well is a screening test, which is getting you to place your hands behind your head and placing your hands behind your back. 
This has the full range of movements and is useful to do at the start if I wanted to exclude any pathology quickly. Okay, thank you very much. Now we'll move on to the special tests, starting with the supraspinatus investigations. Can I get you to take your right hand, put it in 90 degrees of flexion and turn your thumb down towards the ground as if you're emptying a soda can. I'm trying to resist my pressure from the top there, okay? Any pain or discomfort? No. Amazing, thank you. So I'm checking for weakness, checking for pain, which would suggest any supraspinatus pathology, which I can't detect yet. Next, the test is the painful arc test. So can I get you to bring your arm, in fact, let me do that for you. So I'm gonna get you to bring your arm all the way up in abduction, and I'm checking for any hesitancy, pain, or discomfort between the 60 and 120 degree mark. Any discomfort or pain there? No. Thank you very much. So I'm quite confident that your supraspinatus is not injured, and we'll move on with the further investigations. So can I get you, as before, to tuck your arm as close to your body as you can and flex it uh, in 90 degrees? Good. And now I'm going to ask you to push against my hand in external rotation. So try and bring your arm towards me. Any pain there? No. Good. And there's normal power and no discomfort in this test is examining your teres minor and supraspinatus. Then we're going to, I'm going to ask you to put your right hand on the bottom of your back with your palm out towards towards me and try and lift your hand off your back good and any and you resist me when i push good any discomfort weakness during that no good so that test is checking for the subscapularis and that that does not show any weakness discomfort so i'm happy to exclude that as any cause of pathology here for the last test, I'm going to ask you to put your right hand onto your left shoulder and I'm going to apply some pressure here. And are you in any discomfort at all? No. This test is examining AC joint pathology, which you would feel discomfort in this at this point here due to the pressure and the force that's putting on through the joint itself. It's very sensitive for AC joint osteoarthritis, subluxation or dislocation. Thank you very much. Grab a seat for me and you can put your t-shirt back on. I'm just going to wash my hands. Thank you for letting me carry out this examination of your right shoulder. To summarize, this was a normal examination on a 25 year old Michael here. Um, if I did find any bony pathology, I would order appropriate x-rays. If I was suspicious, suspicious of soft tissue injury, I would investigate using either an ultrasound or an MRI scan. Thank you very much, Michael. Thank I'm you. Of any PPE, wash my hands again, and end the consultation. Thank you very much.